Hello and welcome to another episode of How to Be a Great Player. One of the questions that's come up on the forums is, how do we work out character arcs? Well, you might have heard of a character arc or maybe you haven't. So just what is a character arc and why is it going to make your character and thus you as a player just that much better? Well, a character arc is traditionally used in any kind of film or book or play, any kind of story really, where the character goes on a journey. Not a physical journey, but a mental and spiritual and emotional journey. Literally, they go in a nice big curve. They go from point A to point B to point C, and the factors around point A, B, and C is A is where they are at their furthest point in terms of their character arc. They're at the furthest point from their goal. B is when they're on their journey towards their goal, but they may give up or they may abandon it or they may change it. And C is when they achieve their goal. But what do we mean by goal? So when you're creating a character, your character should have a whole bunch of wants. I want fame and glory. I want cash. I want my own starship. I want to one day join my dad and run the universe as a super-powered evil villain. I want, I want, I want, I want. Now, a traditional character arc says that the wants of the character is where we start. And then as the character progresses through their journey, as they learn and experience new things, they start to realize that what they wanted is not actually what they need. Now, what they need is something, which we will discover as we go along their character arc, that will bring them to a point of satisfaction. What will allow our character to feel as if they are satisfied? Will it be taking over the universe and running it as an evil emperor? No, that's what they want. What do they need? They need to realize they need to reconnect with their father. And once they've reconnected with their father, what will bring them the most satisfaction? Well, actually, that will be going around with their father, helping others to reconnect and to live in a safe environment. That's very different from being an evil overlord. And yes, you could still be an evil overlord and run around making sure that families are reunited and that parents and and their children have a strong bond. But that definition then changes from evil overlord to, well, a good benevolent ruler who's really just looking out the, for the social welfare of his uh, subjects. So in other words, we are looking for, an, in a character arc, a journey from a want to a need to satisfaction. What will take us on that arc? Now, how does this relate to role playing and to bringing in your character arc into your dwarvish barbarian who just wants to get drunk and slay everything? Well, it comes back down to that fundamental question that you asked at character creation. Why? Why does he want to get drunk? Why does he want to get gold? Why does he want to get laid? Apart from the fact that that is the standard want of any teenager in university. Why, why, why? Because they think it's going to make them happy. But what will really make them happy? Well, and maybe in the dwarf's case, it is to find someone that he falls in love with. That will make him truly happy, whether he has the finances, the alcohol, uh, or not. Perhaps that is what he needs to achieve his satisfaction in life. In terms of role playing, when we apply this to a character, at character creation, you can identify all of the characters once. You don't necessarily have to identify what they actually need to be satisfied. Sit with your GM, though, and discuss, hey, this is what I want my character to have. I want my character to go on a story arc. We're in a small enough group, maybe three, maybe four players will allow you to really explore character arc. And this is what I think the journey could be. He could start off by wanting this and maybe halfway through the campaign in a year's time or maybe in 20 or 30 sessions of playing, 
Yes, this is a long-term plan, people. This is not instant gratification, not in the slightest. Your reward as a storyteller, as a player, will come in over time, as the other players get to see your character changing. So you want your character to go through a story arc. You've sat down with the GM and you've said, OK, listen, I really want this character to be satisfied with the idea of settling down and raising a family. What he wants now, though, is something that I can definitely tell you. He wants X, Y and Z. Now, how do you work out a good need versus a want? Well, Traditionally, in film and books and everything that we write in any story that we tell, traditionally, it is the exact opposite or the furthest when we meet the character. That is where they will need to get to in order to be satisfied. So we need characters to go from absolutely wanting gold to realizing at the end that it's better to give gold away or that material objects are not needed. Or it's for a character who is absolutely obsessed with not making any friends because they don't feel that they are valuable to a person who's surrounded by friends and who can't wait to go on the next adventure with them. So we try and push them as far away from their ultimate satisfaction as possible. Now you still have to bear in mind, do not create a character who's going to piss off the rest of the players. They're not there to watch you struggle through teenage angst all over again. We've been there. So you've got to think about how do I create a character who needs to start off being very self-centered, very um, aggressive about what they want, and have them journey towards a place where they realize that they don't need to be aggressive. They don't need to be self-centered. They can get much more enjoyment out of sharing things with their fellow play, uh, players' characters. This means you need to discuss it with your fellow players. Hey, I want to play someone who goes on a journey where they learn that it isn't all about X, Y, and Z, where it's actually more about this. Will you guys help me create a character to do that? And keep talking to them after the sessions. Look, I know my character was being an absolute ass. Stick with me. You can see there's transformation happening. And this is now the important part. In order for an art to be successful, you need to make sure that everybody else can see it. So the next time you watch some kind of feature film or read a novel, think about how the character has changed from perhaps being someone who is timid and bashful to someone who is courageous or someone who is courageous and arrogant to someone who is humble yet honorable. Watch that journey, watch that arc happening. And in films where there aren't those kind of arcs, in films where there aren't those kind of stories, and in books and novels and plays, you're going to find it less satisfying. If you look at Star Wars, Luke started off as a young, whiny brat who all he wanted to do was join the Empire and run off and save the galaxy from everything else around him. He just wanted to get away. By the end of Return of the Jedi, he is now someone who is in charge, ostensibly, of a large force that is trying to run the galaxy. So he got his wish, but it is the exact opposite. He didn't want to face his father, but he had to face his father. But in facing his father, he realized that his father was actually on his side. His journey changed from a whiny brat to someone who takes responsibility for his actions. He won't let his fellow friends get into trouble, so he hands himself over to the emperor, his ultimate nemesis. It's these kind of changes that if the Luke in the very beginning film had met the emperor right then and there, the emperor would have won. The emperor would have simply said, I will take you to the center of the galaxy and make you the most powerful Jedi you've ever seen. And he would have gone, oh, sure, that's exactly what I want to do, because I hate living here on Tatooine. And there's my bad impression for the week. So discuss it with your fellow players and then plan it. Whenever an encounter or a situation comes up, look at what's happened to your character and say, now, how does this fit with his want and his need? He wants gold. He's getting lots of gold. Does that make him satisfied? Does that make him feel satisfied? If the answer is yes, then you must keep going. Next session, the session after, the session after that one, until eventually that gold acquisition is no longer his focus. It's not a rush job. Bear that in mind. 
take time to explore it and be prepared for the need for the satisfaction point to change over time as you explore this character arc. But you must start asking questions of your character. Is the character satisfied with this current course of action? Am I satisfied with my life? That's a deep question to ask and I'm going to leave you on that point to think about. Are you satisfied with your life and is your character arc progressing as your player may want it to progress? And if not, what are you going to do about it? Until next time, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and ask more questions. Questions are fantastic. It allows us to really get a sense of what people need to know. And what you don't know is what you don't know, if you know what I mean. Until next time, happy playing.